Right, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to reprogram your subconscious mind in about one week. And before we get into that, let me explain what I mean by that. So your mind is, is kind of like a computer. So you have software, and you have hardware. The software, hopefully you're what you kind of know what I'm talking about, right? The software is like the programs. So it might be like your internet browser, you know, your messaging app, Facebook, Instagram. These are kind of like the software aspects. And then the hardware is things like, well, it, with the computer analogy, the hardware is things like your, your screen, okay, your keyboard, your mouse, the physical things, right? So your mind is like a computer and it's constantly being programmed by different bits of information from different people. Some good, some bad, but it's happening all the time. And so if you want to reprogram your subconscious mind, there are some, way, there are some reasons why you, want, you might want to do that. The first one is to remove kind of like fears, insecurities, doubts, limiting beliefs. Uh, or you might just want to become a different person, like become a new, improved person. So you might want to, uh, you know, improve yourself, start going to the gym, get more motivated, study more, work harder, be better, right? But, you, but usually you'll have some kind of limiting belief around that. You'll, you won't believe in yourself. And the good news is that it's easy and quick to fix that. So that's what this video is about. Hopefully you're kind of like on the same page and you know what I mean. And we're just going to get right into it and uh, explain how you can reprogram your subconscious mind in about one week or less. Probably it will happen a lot sooner. I would say a lot quicker if you follow these steps. And another kind of reason, another, another thing that this will teach you is how to get more of what you want. So more happiness, peace, harmony, and less things like stress, anger, uh, depression, uncertainty, things like that. So more of what you want, less of what you don't want. So with a computer, the way you, re you reprogram a computer, it happens kind of instantly. You, you just change the code and the computer gives you a different result. Unfortunately, the human brain is a bit, it, it's not quite that simple. It is simple, but it's not quite that easy, I should say. So with the human brain, what you need to do is basically flood yourself with repetition repeating and like constantly doing the same thing again and again and again. The good news is it's very simple uh, but it's going to obviously take some time and, and effort, right? You can't just do it instantly like you can with a computer. So the key really to, re to reprogramming yourself is just to constantly like repeat after, you know, again and again, repeat day after day the new story or the new belief or the new idea that you want to be inside your brain. That's the absolute basics of, I guess, almost all personal growth work, is that you first become aware of what you want to change, and then you decide to change it, and then you flood your brain with repetition. You constantly tell yourself the news story. And to be honest, that, I would say, has saved you about $50,000 worth of Tony Robbins seminars, and uh, I mean, that's essentially what they teach you, right? Is to flood yourself with repetition of the news story, the new identity, the new um, structure, I guess story is the best way of explaining it, the new story that you want to tell yourself. So, let's use a practical example. Let's say you want to, well, let's say you want a lucid dream, right? You want to control your dreams. Um, but you don't think you can, or you don't believe in yourself. You basically just flood yourself with the affirmations. I can lucid dream. I do control my dreams. Uh, I regularly remember my dreams, right? And you just constantly tell yourself, even if it's not true, this is the important part. Even if it's not true currently, you compl you kind of like lie to yourself. I know that sounds weird, but you, that's how it works. You literally kind of lie to yourself and fake it till you make it. You have might have heard that expression. And what happens is if you keep telling yourself and believing strongly enough in uh, a particular statement, especially if it's relating to yourself, it will become true. It just will. Okay, and there's, there's various reasons and... Uh, mechanisms for how that works I don't know if you care that much maybe I'll go into it in another video but it does work uh, and on a basic level what happens is if you tell yourself an idea enough you will subconsciously start to act in ways that make it true because you don't want your brain doesn't want to have this kind of discord this confusion your brain wants to it's very simple it just wants to it just wants to say right we're constantly saying this thing that I can lose a dream but I can't lucid dream. So something doesn't match up. So therefore, you know, let's put in more effort. Let's uh, try, try different things. Let's whatever. 
the, bre- the subconscious mind just kind of makes it work to match your belief. And, and this applies to anything, not just lucid dreaming, but um, any belief, any idea, any concept that you want to be true, you just kind of brainwash yourself into believing that it's true. And if, with enough repetition, you will believe it and it will become true. The next step is to ask, how do I flood myself with these repetitions? How do I do that? There's several ways you can do it. Uh, the easiest way is to attack it from multiple angles. So you would say, right, uh, first you come up with a statement, the story that you want to be true. I, I am motivated. Let's say if that's it, right? Um, I'm always motivated. So you would write that down on your phone, on a notes document, take a picture of that, make that your lock screen, so that every time you open your phone, you see the statement that says, I am motivated. You would also then have that as your password. So if you're like most of us, you type your password into your laptop probably 50 times a day. And I'm just going to shift a bit so I'm not quite (laughs) facing into the sun like that. You probably type your password about 50 times a day. So why not make it an affirmation? Why not make it something where every time you type in that password, you're actually confirming to yourself the the thing you want to be true, right? Imagine if instead instead of your password being, I don't know, big knockers 28... It could be something like, I am motivated, or uh, I lucid dream every night, or something like that. Something, a, you know, a statement or a story that you want to be true. And if you, I mean, trust me, right, if you type that, in, you type that into your laptop 50 times a day, every single day, on top of, you know, every time you look at your phone it says it, you know, every time you open your internet, that's the default tab. If you just flood your brain with this, with these new ideas, after not even that long, like a few days to a few weeks, you will experience a shift, like your brain will become different. You will start to completely believe in this statement. Even if at first it's not quite true, and you're kind of deluding yourself, or you're kind of brainwashing yourself, that is literally what you're doing. Like you are literally brainwashing yourself to believe the new statement. But interestingly, what happens is when you do believe it, when you do brainwash yourself, uh, you believe, you, obviously you believe the statement, and then it actually becomes true because your subconscious mind makes you act in certain ways that make the statement become true. And it becomes a bit like a snowball effect, you know, uh, it just kind of builds on itself. Every day you're typing in this password 50 times. And then on top of that, you've got your phone lock screen. And then on top of that, your default tab on your internet browser is like a picture of a statement or, or a, a, a vision board or something of you doing the thing you want to do. And then, you know, on top of that, you're only listening to inspiring, positive music and, and videos and, and movies. It pretty, it pretty quickly builds on itself and kind of snowballs. Um, but you can go one step further. So you can say, right, um, I, you now audit your social media feeds. You now go through one by one all of the people you follow, all of the uh, channels you're subscribed to, all of the everything, right? Anything, any, um, on any platform, anything that you're subscribed to or you follow. You go through one by one and you audit them and you say, right, does, do they, or does this channel, give me the information I want that is in alignment with what I believe or what I want to believe? And if not, you just kind of mute them or you unfollow or you unsubscribe. And what that does is it means that every time you open up your social media, you're using these social media's algorithms in your favor by telling them what you want to see. So... And this takes a bit of effort, right? Because at the moment, you will be shown all the stuff you've interacted with and engaged with in the past. But that's the old you. So now, from this moment on, every time you load up social media, if you see something like a message, an image, a video, or a text, or something, that is reinforcing the old you, right? You need to either ignore it, or click hide, or show, don't show me this, show me less of this, not interested, Literally tell the, the algorithm you don't care about that stuff. That's the old you. An example, let's say if you, you want to get more motivated and your friends or your social circle are not very motivated. The social media algorithm, especially places like Facebook, it will be showing you uh, posts or you know videos and text posts from people that are not motivated. And th- it might be something where it's like somebody complaining about something or... We all have these people, right? These people who love to complain about stuff. And the chances are you might have interacted with that, with that in the past because that was the old you, right? You resonated on that level. Uh, so you need to, from now on, kind of ignore that content. 
completely ignore it. Uh, don't interact with it. Don't give the algorithm anything, any sign that you're interested in that topic because that's the old you, right? That's, you, don't, you don't want that anymore. That's not the reality that you want to experience. Instead, you should focus on the new reality and go through, so firstly go through and like cut, uh, mute or click not interested on all of the content, all of the people, the platforms, the channels that are not in alignment with what you want to be. The next step is to go through and find all the channels who are the people you want to be, who do share the stuff you want to hear. And this is a bit more time consuming because you have to actually find them and it's a process, you know, it takes time, but that's the next step. And then finally, I just want to leave you with this, the most powerful hour of the day, the most important time for any of this stuff, right, is the first hour, the, well, the first and last hour of your day. You need to protect that time, you know, really fiercely, uh, because that's when your brain is in something called theta, which is where you're more receptive to new ideas. So if you wake up and check your phone or check the news in the first hour of the day, you're literally brainwashing yourself with negative stuff, usually, or, or with whatever the algorithm decides you want to see. So you need to, especially in the first and last hour of the day, ideally just don't watch, don't consume any content, don't don't watch any screens, you know, unless it's unless you're sure that it's actually going to be beneficial and positive. Uh, you know, don't watch horror movies, violent games before bed. Cut all of that stuff out. Trust me, it's, it's only making your life worse. And so yeah, if you take nothing else away from this video, control the first and last hours of your day. Decide what content you want to listen to and, and why you're listening to it. And brainwash yourself to change your subconscious mind. If you do these things, you'll, you'll change your subconscious mind within about a week.